let us pick up from where we left off. Agricultural practices, right? We decided to learn the various processes used for the activity of agriculture. What do you think is the most important requirement for agriculture? Soil, that's right. But do you know that soil needs to be prepared for crop production? Yes, soil is usually found solidified into hard chunks of soil mass. This soil needs to be softened and loosened. Why does soil need to be loosened up before cultivation? The answer is simple. Loose soil will allow more air to pass to the roots of the plants. This will in turn aid the growth of the plant leading to good crop production. Do you know any natural agents that help this process? We usually refer to them as friends of the farmers. Yes, the answer is earthworms. They help loosen the soil and also in soil aeration. Do you know another advantage of loosening of the soil? It also helps the soil to retain water. It then leads to the growth of favourable microbes that help to produce humus in the soil. What exactly is humus? As we know, all living things die, their remains are decomposed and nutrients are returned back to the soil. The microbes help in this process of decomposition. This decomposed matter is rich in nutrients and is known as humus. It is what plants depend on for nutrition. Do you also know that loosening up of soil has yet another benefit? Plants mostly take nutrients from the top layers of soil and they are unable to go deeper into the soil. Loosening up the soil helps to turn the lower soil and makes it accessible to the plant. Thus, the nutrients in the lower layers are brought up to the upper layers of the soil. So, what is this process of loosening and turning of soil called? We call it tilling or ploughing in agriculture. How is tilling and ploughing done by man? Have you heard the name of an equipment called plough? Yes, I'm sure you have. It helps to loosen the soil. But what if the soil is hard? Would it be easy to plough? No, it won't be. Hence, the soil may have to be watered before ploughing. Even after ploughing, huge chunks of soil could be left behind. These chunks need to be broken down into smaller fragments. Soil also needs to be levelled so that the land is even and sowing of seeds can take place on this land. What if the soil has not regained its fertility? Do we add some manure to it? Yes, of course. Manure too can be added to make the soil fertile. Now let us look closely at the equipments that aid the process of tilling or ploughing the land. There are mainly three types of equipments used in the first stage of agriculture. A plough, hoe and a cultivator are the three major ones. Do you know how any of these work or how they look? Don't worry in case you haven't. We will study each of them in detail in our next video. Once ploughing is done, next step is sowing. Before sowing, farmers select good quality seeds to get high yields. Have you ever noticed your mother putting some grains in a vessel and pouring some water to it? What happens after a few minutes? Some seeds start to float. What is the reason behind this? Some damaged seeds float on water because they are hollow and hence lighter. Actually, this is a good method for separating good, healthy seeds from the damaged ones. Now let us see what are the tools used for sowing seeds. Look at this farmer. He has a funnel shaped tool for sowing seeds. Observe them closely. What is he doing with this tool? Yes, he is filling seeds into the funnel and passing them down through the sharp ends of the pipe to get them seeded in the soil. This is a traditional method and very easy. Nowadays, farmers use modern seed drills for sowing with the help of tractors. I'm sure you are wondering how this seed drill works. It sows the seeds uniformly at proper distance and depth, ensuring that seeds get covered by the soil after sowing. This process also saves a lot of time and labor. Manuring Repeated cultivation of crops finishes the fertility of the soil as the crop plants use up the nutrients present in it.
So, manure must be added at least once in a year and the process of adding manure is called manuring. Manure consists of animal dung, plant wastes and many other organic nutrients. From these, compost is prepared. Many fertilizers are prepared in factories. Excessive use of fertilizers are harmful. So farmers use a combination of compost and fertilizer. Fertilizers are of three types. Nitrogenous fertilizers. Nitrogen containing fertilizers are known as nitrogenous fertilizers. Example, urea, ammonium sulfate, potassium nitrate, ammonium nitrate. Phosphatic fertilizers. Phosphorus containing fertilizers are called phosphatic fertilizers. Examples, superphosphate, ammonium phosphate, amorphos. Potassium fertilizers. Potassium containing fertilizers are called potassium fertilizers. Examples, potassium chloride, potassium nitrate, potassium sulfate.